I want to speak, if you don't mind, about the impact that Jenna has had on our country. Um, not, not too long ago, we celebrated Heritage Day, and in spending time with Jenna, I, I haven't met many people more proud to be a South African and uh, with a deeper understanding of, of the importance of, of giving back, really. And Jen has been honored um, with LEAD SA awards. Yes. Um, her Facebook groups continue to be um, flooded with messages of love and support from people from all walks of lives. And I think that was the extraordinary thing about Jenna. Um, she appealed to people whose lives were very different to hers, but somehow something about Jenna resonated with them. I know, it's so extraordinary. And I think it's got to do with the fact that everything about her was authentic, that um, she always had been that person from a very young age. It's not like she got this illness and then suddenly decided to do good. She had been that person from the day she was born. Um, she wrote a book when she was eight, and she was the one at the age of eight saying to me, well, where are the proceeds of the book going to go? and she gave the proceeds of the book to the Cayley campaign. She met Cayley, and the proceeds went to Cayley. Little did she know she was gonna be on a mobility scooter herself 10 years later. It's weird. She always had this incredible intelligence, you know, because you chatted to her. And wit, she was and wit, so sharp funny as a whip. And charming, mm. and a real interest in history, politics, philosophy, and the world around her, and that was just who she was. Um, and I think that's why she appealed and really touched people, not even appealed to, but touched people, because it was so authentic. And she went to Archbishop Desmond Tutu's Youth Peace Summit in grade 10 before she was diagnosed. She was invited, one of two children from the school, and only two children went from each school in the Western Cape. Um, she did a lot of social work before her illness. So I think that for me, I, I think there are a lot of things that, are, that, that really touched people, but that was one of the authenticity was one of the, the major things. And then also the fact that she never became a victim. I never saw Jenna bitter and twisted, and she could have been. She had so much potential, and then she was given a terminal illness. She always knew she'd have a short life. Even if the transplant had been successful, lungs don't buy you a lifetime. And she was never bitter and angry. It's extraordinary. So I think that that extraordinariness but also ordinariness. She was so forgiving of people. So forgiving is what touched people. 